Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Kicks. In this video, I will discuss with you one scenario based question which is very very frequently asked in the Power BI interviews. Basically, you can assume that this question will be asked in the interview. Okay, so let's start the video and before that if you are new to the channel then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos because the content like this you will not find anywhere else on YouTube. Plus you can also follow me on Instagram. Okay, so what is the scenario? So basically the interviewer will ask you that if you have two tables and those two tables are completely disconnected then how will you combine those two tables together and generate a final table containing the combination of columns present in the individual tables. So for that I have taken two tables over here. Let me show that. So here is my two tables. One is the customer table and the second one is address details table. You can see here we have three columns here age, customer and gender and here also we have three columns city, customer address and state. And you can clearly see here there is no column with which we can actually combine this or create a relationship between these two tables. So that means they are completely disconnected. And now if we have, if we have to connect these two tables so that we get a resultant where we have the combination of columns from both of these two tables, then how we can achieve that thing. So that is what we will discuss. The solution is very easy, but you can only answer this question when you are already knowing about it, right? So for that, I will take you to Power Query over here. So these are my two tables, customer table and address tables, address detail table. In the customer table, you can see I have different customer names, their respective age and their gender, right? Simple customer table. And in the address details table, we have their uh, random uh, customer address, then their respective city where they live and their respective state in India. Okay. So now if we have to combine these two tables, what we will do? I will go first to the customer table, go to the add column tab over, over here and in the you have to click here index column. So index column I want to start it from one. So one column will be generated which is index column and it will give us all the unique values in all the records that are present over here. So six records are there. So individually it has assigned one, two, three, four, five, six as you can see over here. So each record now has unique index value right in this particular table. The next thing is the address details. Okay. In the address details, again, you need to do the same thing that we have done for the customer table. Okay. And why we are doing this through index column, I will let you know in a couple of seconds. So again, I will click over here and choose from one. Again, one column is generated, which is index column. And we have unique values for all the records, which from one to six. This is what we will do first. This is the first step. Now the next step is I will again go to the customer tab, customer table over here, go to the home tab and I will click on this merge queries option. Okay. Why we are merging? Because basically we have to combine these two tables to combine two tables. We need to merge, right? So I will select my, the sec uh, my second table. I will select my common column and you can see we have the common values matching in both the tables right because we have created those individually for all the records in both the tables right i will choose here uh, inner join that means all the matching records from both the tables here we have identical so we will get the exact records that we are looking for now i will click over here you can click you can see over here it is showing, it is telling selection matches six out of six records okay so click on okay here again now i will uncheck this original and i will select only those columns that i want in my this in my in this table click on ok i wanted these three columns that means customer address city and state so for my cust first customer that is shashank i now have the complete details of this customer you can see here clearly now you must be wondering why we chose this uh, this way of creating one index column right so this was the second step and now you can see we have finally combined the two tables but why we chose the index column? That is the main question over here. We have chosen that because if we add any further record over here, that means if any further record is added over here in the customer table from the source or, and also in the address details table. So automatically index column, what it will do, it will automatically generate. It will automatically generate a new value, which is equal to seven for that particular record. Okay. So that is the advantage of using in uh, using this index column feature in this power query transformation right so automatically whatever number of records will be added from the source 
the index column will be automatically generated okay you can say this is a kind of surrogate key you would have heard this term in sql this is a kind of surrogate key that means a pseudo key which is not actually present but we are creating that okay so this is how you have to explain this question or scenario to the interviewer and if you explain like this it will create a very positive image in the interviewer's mind so thank you for watching this video completely and do like this video and please share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos